So in this video, we're going to show how to hook up the real SIM gear devices that were just added with 9.10.17. So let's go ahead and get started. As we've mentioned, always got to be on the latest version for some of these videos, including this one. They just released the alpha build 9.10.17 with SPAD.next, which gives us access now to directly controlling real SIM gear units without having to use our own custom SPAD firmware. So when we look at the change log, we can see that in nine, well, it was 15, but there was a bug fix. Anyway, 17. You'll see that real SIM gear addition for the GNS 430, 530, the 650, and the 750. So those four devices are currently supported and I, I do know that they want to add all the others as well. It was just a question of, I guess, getting the first ones out, tested, and getting things started. We need to figure out which one's our device. I always hop in and bring up good old Device Manager. So in Device Manager, we come in and these are using Arduino Megas. And because they're using the Mega, obviously it's pretty easy to find it. Unless, of course, you have multiple RSG units. Now, mind you, if you just add them all, that'll probably work as well because they're going to tell SPAD.next what they are. In my case, that custom autopilot we built, that was on a Nuno, so that's COM6, and it's already inside. The Leonardo shows up on COM4, but because it's a HID device and that's using the joystick library, it shows up in SPAD.next automatically as a joystick device. We're not actually talking to it via serial. So that leaves us, in my case, just the Arduino Mega on COM5. Now you'll also notice I don't have any of the RSG software running because I don't want it connecting to and taking over the COM port. Next, we need to head over to settings. We need to go to devices. We need to come to serial devices and now we need to add that device. COM6, that's running the SPAD protocol because that's my autopilot I built. So now we're going to come in. We know it's on COM5. No problem. We also know that this is using the real SIM gear protocol. So we're going to select that for protocol and you'll see that all the other options are taken away uh, because SPAD knows what that firmware uses by default. So we go ahead and click OK. Now right away you won't see anything because you need to restart for these actions to take place. So we're going to close SPAD.next and launch it again. Now that SPAD's launched again, we can go to settings, we can go to devices, we can go to serial devices, and we can now see that it is connected to COM5 uh, and we've got the real SIM gear. If we go to our panels, we're also going to see that it's added it and it's recognized the device type. So we come on in, we have an image of it, and we can click on all the button or knob locations. And of course, if you click on the Lego block and you turn one or you push it, it is going to jump to those buttons and those locations. As you can see here, I had already had mine set up and I'd already configured it in this profile uh, to test it. Even bringing it back, SPAD kept and stored my configuration and away it went. So I was just working with the SR22 and I was trying to control a bunch of the MFD controls leveraging the H events with that LVAR bridge, it also gives us access via the WASM module to send all of these events. So tying that with now the control of real SIM gear, we actually can take all of our real SIM gear devices and we can map them to anything we want. Uh, and this is all automatically switching as part of your profile that you set up for all of your different controls. So all this for every plane that I go to will automatically switch. And of course, GUI editor, which we all love. 
That's all you have to do to get the real sim gear panels loading up inside of spad.next and running. Now you just hop in, click on the add event button, and you can go ahead and map all of your events. Now we're going to cut it here. Uh, we'll cover some other applications later. Thanks for watching and do me a solid. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't and uh, come along because up next, I think we're going to go find that TDS GTN 750. Now that I got my GTN 750 from Real Sim Gear, that looks like a fun video to do. As always, have a great day.